Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the KOTLC fanbase. My name is Joey, and today I'm going to be going over the new official KOTLC group photo. Shannon Messenger frequently posts on her Instagram, and this week we have received a new KOTLC group photo of all the characters in Foxfire. Before I jump into all the characters one by one, please make sure to like the video and subscribe because we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So Shannon Messenger, she posts on her Instagram a lot. Just it, It's actually really great how she posts because I don't see a lot of authors doing that. And we get a lot of art, a lot of behind the scenes content, like deleted scenes. And this week she actually gave us, let's see, she gave us 12 individual character art portraits, whatever you want to call them, and they are amazing. This is a new group photo, so we've had this classic one for years and years. So the question is, is the new one gonna replace this one? Cause this one is amazing, this one's a classic. Well, we're gonna find out. And just starting off with the first one, we have Lynn. If you thought we were done sharing exciting Keeper things this year, you were wrong. We have so much fun ahead starting today with the first of a series of super awesome character pieces from Anna Marija, Maria? featuring the characters in their Foxfire uniforms. So all of this whole, so all of the characters are gonna be in their Foxfire uniforms. And as you can see by the background, you can see like the, the glass pyramid in the back. And since the Unlocked Paperback has an exclusive short story from Lynn's point of view, we decided to keep the Lynn celebration going by starting with her portrait. And I think it's pretty good. I think her, I think um she's wearing green because that's from Exilium or Exilium, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that. And they have like the silver um, tips and bangs. I think it's pretty good. I think it captures their character pretty nicely. And let's move on to the next character. The next character that she revealed was Dex. So as yeah, Dex is wearing, he's wearing um, some sort of orange yellowish tunic and I can see his family crest over there. So yeah, this is definitely Dex. He looks, he looks pretty good, honestly. I think this is pretty good. Like they have his hair, his strawberry blonde. Everything is pretty good for Dex. So yeah, Dex looks pretty good, and the next one is Tam. So yeah, just like Lynn, Tam is wearing green, and he's he's smirking a little, which is a bit um, unusual for Tam. He also has the silver bangs, so yeah, this is pretty good. I think it looks very good. So far, this this um, artist is doing very well. I mean, this art is pretty, pretty good. The next character is Morella, and this one I think is the best so far. You can see all the like the little braids in her hair and i think this this is just one of the best ones um so far i mean it looks really good there's not much to say about these pieces because they all look stunning but i think this one um fits uh, fits the character the most i don't know why the next one is marika i think this you know she has like that um multi-colored blue purplish strand of hair it looks really cool and it really matches her other portrait. We haven't seen much of Marika in official art, so this is really cool to see. And I don't think I mentioned this yet, but all these characters are people from Foxfire, but obviously, so that means we're gonna see characters that we only see at Foxfire. Next up is Stina. This one, it looks a tiny bit off, but I think it's pretty good. She's crossing her arms. She has kind of like a defined look on her face and her hair is pretty messy. So yeah, this is this is pretty perfect. This one looks pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. And next up is Jensi. And we have only seen a couple other official pictures of Jensi. So this is really cool. Jensi looks pretty much exactly how, you know, we all imagined him. We've seen him before, but he definitely has that like round face and like that bubbly personality. And I think this is really good art. And next up is Wiley. I think... He looks fine. It, it looks pretty much matching of the other portraits and art we've seen of Wiley. He looks fine. I'm not sure why he has like a unicorn pin. Somebody will have to fill me in on because uh, I've probably forgot. But yeah, it definitely looks like Wiley. I can definitely tell that it's Wiley, so it's pretty good. Next up is Bianna. This one is really good. Um, I think the artist really is getting these characters on point. This looks so good. It would have been cool to, to maybe see like some of her scars that she got, but I don't know um, where they are exactly are if they're, they're just covered up by her clothing or something. But overall, it looks pretty good. And next up is Fitz. As you can see, the first thing that, that um, I noticed is that he's wearing red, which means he is in the elite levels. I'm pretty sure what that means. Oh, I'm sorry. That, mean, that just means he's um, in level five. 
and everybody else is green, which means they're in level four. Honestly, this 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 one just like Morella, it, it's almost perfect. I think this looks exactly like Fitz. His facial expression, it's just like pretty neutral. Um, I don't know, I don't know how they did it, but this looks exactly like how I imagine Fitz. So pretty good job. And there are only two more characters left, Keith and Sophie. And I think they would save Sophie for her last. And next we have Keith. He is also red, but it looks fine. Just something about his face is a little off, but over, all in all, it's pretty good. His hair is perfect. Like his hair is 100% perfect. And with the amount of characters that this artist had to create, you know, like I think they prioritized um, quantity over quality just a little bit, but this is still really good if you take into account how much they had to make. This is very good art, don't get me wrong. It's just a tiny bit off, that's it. But it's still good, like it still looks great. It still looks exactly like Keith. I can tell this is Keith. And next up before the final group art reveal, we have Sophie. Shannon Messenger said that she was surprised how the artist interpreted her as shy and fierce at the same time. And I think that's per pretty perfect description. She has like a tiny braid running through her hair and it looks pretty, it looks good. I say that with every art, with every art piece so far, but it's good. They're all really solid pieces. This isn't, this definitely isn't one of my favorite, um, you know, pictures of Sophie. We've had so many because she's the main character, but it's not bad. It's just not amazing. That's it. And last but not least, look at this final group portrait reveal with all the Foxfire characters. That is crazy. And I can't help but notice, but just like the original piece, they put Keith next to Sophie and Fitz right there too. So you can really tell the love triangles here as well. We also, this also puts into perspective um, the heights of all the characters, like Keith and Fitz and Wiley, they're really tall. And Sophie is really short compared to them. And don't forget about the background. It looks it looks really cool. And we can see we haven't had like almost any official art of Foxfire. So this is really cool to see. The glass pyramid, the light reflecting off of it, the clouds looks really good. And Shannon Messenger did say that don't worry, they're done with this reveal of this specific art, but they still have tons of incredible things coming up in the weeks and months ahead. And Stina is pretty tall too. I wonder if like they don't they don't mention their heights in the books very much, but I don't know. So as I said before, is the big question is does this one replace this one? And the answer is no, not because it's not better, but because they're two separate things and they're both good in their own right. This one was just like the main keeper gang, you know, the eight characters. But this one is is a representation of the Foxfire, and you can see that because they're wearing their uniforms. The Foxfire's in the back. Personally, I still think the original one just looks better. I don't, it just has all, I think the colors are better in this one. But this is still a really good group photo and I like that we saw new characters that we haven't seen much before, just like Jensi, Marika, we saw Morella. And yeah, I think this is really good. I really like it. So let me know down in the comments below, did you like these characters? Which one was your favorite? And just let me know what you thought of the art. I hope you guys have a good rest of your winter break and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I had a good time making it. And whenever there is more um, news from Shannon Messenger, I will be there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.